All right, friends, it's the 28th day of January 2013, and I want to state right from the very beginning, the enemy does not want me to deliver the message contained in this video today. I have had numerous, numerous attempts to get this video uploaded. I don't know right now if there's a bunch of static where you can't hardly hear me, but the enemy, I will not be stopped. I'm going to deliver this message. Now, I was contacted this morning by a brother in Christ who phoned me that had a very disturbing dream. And if you know me, if you follow my channel for any length of time, I'm very, very cautious when it comes to dreams and visions. I am really, really moved like never before uh, by the Holy Spirit to share this brother in Christ dream with all of you today and to get your opinions on it. I'm not saying, I want to make that clear, disclaimer right now, I'm not saying that it is a prophecy, a warning of an event to come in the very near future. But I will tell you, I will stick my neck out on the line. I, I know it to be a prophetic dream. Now, I fear, and I have since the televised inauguration of Barack H. Obama, the judgment is about to fall again on the United States of America, especially when the woman gave her prayer message um, and she said, one nation indivisible instead of under God. I felt that, I, I had a very, very, very bad feeling. I felt weak all over. I felt sick to my stomach. And it's just um, that I, I, I had a feeling that judgment is about to fall. Now, the brother in Christ, I am not going to give you his name, not at this moment, but I want to share this dream with you. All right, he calls me this morning and he shares the dream. Now, in his dream, there's a woman standing next to him, and he doesn't recognize who she is, but there is a young boy, and he's dressed like he's going to a funeral. He's all dressed in black, black suit coat, uh, black pants, shoes, and a tie. And he has no face. Now that really concerned him. He looks down and the young boy, maybe 11, 12 years old, is carrying a suitcase. The woman turns to our brother in Christ and says that wherever this young man goes, destruction follows. Now, our brother in Christ looks down at the suitcase and he sees the words, rock away. And he does a little bit of investigation. He doesn't know what does rock away mean? Rock away, rock away. What could that mean? And I'm going to share the rest of this with you. First, we're going to talk about uh, the boy, 11, 12 years old, with no face and what that means. A demon without a face or a ghost without a face, if you have this in a vision or a dream, it's a sign of a harbinger. I'll be right back. I want to share more of this with you. I want to explain about the boy without the face. I'll be right back. All right. Now, what I want to do here is just to reassure everyone that regarding a faceless demon, uh, a faceless ghost, and as in uh, our brother in Christ's dream, it's a young man, 11 or 12, just like he's going to a funeral, but he has no face. I just don't want you to think that it is my assumption that this represents a harbinger. So I wanted to share this with you. The faceless demon, really a harbinger. The faceless demon or faceless ghost is one of many entities that we, that we may be too quick to class as a demon when in fact it is something else. This is not actually a ghost, but better considered as a harbinger. Though it is often referred to as a faceless demon, that name may not be the right one for it. There are a few stories about a faceless demon that appears to people in the guise of a woman. Now this did not appear to our brother in Christ as a woman. A woman was standing next to him, but the young man, uh, dressed like he's going to a funeral, uh, had no face. So this is talking about if the, uh, the faceless ghost is a woman, which is not the case in our brother's dream. It says often she will do her haunting through dreams. It is thought that she is trying to get a message or a warning to the dreamer. Unfortunately, it's not always that clear what the actual message is. Most of the time she's giving notice that uh, you are involved in something that may not be good for you. 
but when it comes to a male such as this young man without a face if it is not female and it is male I just want to share this with you and I'll be right back it's a sign of a harbinger to come all right continuing on now the briefcase contained the words rockway rockaway and our brother in Christ did a little bit uh, further investigation what could this mean is it a place is it an actual place rockway rockaway and I think you're going to be very, very shocked. It's in New York City. Stay tuned. All right, now our brother in Christ, upon his research into Rockway, Rockaway, is it an actual place? And uh, I think you're going to be quite shocked to see Rockaway Bridges, New York City. Okay, I'm going to show you once more. So it is an actual place, New York City. Um, I'll be right back and we will conclude. All right, now in concluding, uh, if anyone has information on Rockaway, it appears to be a major, major waterway with a bridge. And I want to remind everyone, when the nine harbingers fell, it fell on New York City when the towers came down. I do want to state that I've known this brother in Christ, and we have a very strong connection between one and another. We share. We have shared the exact same dreams. I woke up this morning, and I've been having nightmares, uh, but for whatever reason, uh, I cannot remember my dreams. I want to share this with everyone. It's a prophetic dream. I want your opinion, and I'm going to put it out as a warning. I'm not saying it's a prophecy of something or a harbinger to fall on New York City but it seems like New York City is where the harbingers fall please please share this video and let me know what you think your opinion on this dream God bless you